Hello, hello to my Peppa Pig readers. Welcome back. Today I brought a book from the Ultimate Peppa Pig collection. So, what is for waiting? Let's read the book. We have to choose a one book from this collection. So, we will do ding 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 dun 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 dun. What about this green one? Garden games. I love to see what are the garden games are. So, let's read and see. It is a lovely sunny day. Peppa and George are playing outside with Sushishi. Daddy Pig brings out a large box. It is full of garden games. Here you are, he says. Sushi looks inside the box. She pulls out three wooden sticks. Juggling sticks. She cries, watch me juggle. Sushi throws the sticks up into the air. They all land on a grass. Stop, 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 stop. Those aren't juggling sticks, loves Daddy Pig. They are skittles. Daddy Pig stands on skittles up. Peppa throws a ball and tries to knock the, knock the skittles down. Hooray, shouts Peppa. I got two. Now it is Sushi's turn. This game is very hard. Once Peppa, you probably won't be able to do it. So she throws the ball. She knocks over all the skittles. Ooh, says Peppa. George is too little for skittles. He wants to play bat and ball instead. Peppa can throw the ball, says Daddy Pig, and George has to bat it. George hits the ball, so she catches it. Oh dear, George is out. Poor George, he's too little for bat and ball. You just need a bit more practice, says Daddy Pig. Watch me. Daddy Pig bats the ball hard. Oops, it has gone all the way into the house. Mommy Pig is having coffee in the kitchen. She is very surprised to see Daddy Pig. Oh, can we have our ball back, please? He asks. Yes, says Mommy Pig. But please play more carefully in future. Danny Dog comes to play in the garden too. Daddy Pig decides to start a new game. He gets two bars and a yellow pole out of the box. What's that? says Peppa. Limbo! He flies Daddy Pig. He turns on the music, learns, leans backwards, then walks underneath the pole. Daddy Pig makes the pole over, but this time he can't walk underneath it. Your tummy is too big, giggles Peppa. My turn, says Danny. Danny, Peppa, Zuzi and George all walk under the pole. Now we'll make the pole even lower, says Daddy Pig. Easy, giggles Peppa. But this time when Peppa tries, the pole falls down. It's impossible, she decides. Nobody can walk under that. The pole is very, very low. So, says George, I want to have a go. Wow, shouts Danny. George can do it. George is the best as Limbo because he's so little. Well done, George. The end. I hope you love the story. We will see you again with another beautiful story. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.